As a project evolves, it will likely undergo some changes. That said, BIM 360 Docs ensures project members always have access to the latest version. It will also maintain a complete history of every revision. In this session, we'll learn how BIM 360 Docs handles file versioning. As you can see, I've got BIM 360 Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. Here in the Plans folder, we can see the PDF plan sheets that we uploaded in an earlier session. Notice the version column. Currently, each of these sheets shows V1. That's because at this point, only one version of each sheet has been uploaded. Now, let's assume some changes have been made to this project. As a result, a new PDF has been printed containing the updated sheets. Just for a moment, I'm going to switch over to Acrobat Reader. Here in the viewer, we can see a multi-sheet PDF containing the updated plan sheets. At this point, I'd like to upload this PDF into my BIM 360 Docs project. Back in Docs, I'll click the Upload button and choose Files. I will then select the PDF and click Open. I'll click OK. When uploading the files, I'm going to use the title block template I created the first time this plan set was uploaded. I will then click Continue. When the processing is complete, I can review the extracted attribution and click Publish All. Here we can see the sheets were successfully published. I'll choose Show in Folder. If we look at the version column now, we can see that the Stormlines A and B sheet is a newer version. The same is true for the Soil Erosion and Sediment Control Detail sheet. To view the latest version of any sheet, I can simply click on the sheet name. I'm going to select this detail sheet. I can then pan and zoom to review. Let's close this. If I click on the version icon, BIM 360 Docs will show me a list of all the saved versions of this sheet. From here, I can export or copy a version, download the version to my local machine, or I can revert back to a prior version. Note there's also a compare feature. If I select this, I can compare any version against any other version. In this case, we just have the two. After making my selection, I'll click Compare. When comparing files, BIM 360 Docs defaults to the overlay method, which is a lot like using a traditional light table. Generally speaking, the sheets are placed on top of each other and colorized to make it easy to see the differences between them. In this case, anything unique to V2 or the current version displays as red, and anything unique to the older version displays as blue. Looking at the screen, it's very easy to tell that this detail has been added to the newest sheet. Let's pan this up, and we'll zoom in. Here we can see a minor difference between the sheets. To review changes like this, BIM 360 Docs provides a side-by-side -side comparison method. Using side-by-side, -side, simply drag the slider left and right to review differences at a more granular level. When I'm finished comparing sheets, I'll move up and click the exit button. Let's look at something else. I'm going to click to open the other updated plan sheet. I do this to show you that if a sheet has multiple versions, you can access the Compare feature using this button in the toolbar. From here, you would select the desired versions from the menus and click Compare. You could then review the changes made to this sheet since the last version. Once again, when finished reviewing the sheets, I'll click to exit. One last thing, I should mention that the file versioning feature goes beyond just plan sheets. It applies to virtually any file uploaded to a BIM 360 project. This means that as your design changes and the supporting files are updated, BIM 360 Docs makes it easy to access the current state of the project while also maintaining a complete history of its evolution. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.